Ten Six Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman. Okay, a lot of talk about tonight, and let's start with an unusual day tomorrow. There's something I think you'll notice that we rarely see, and that is it'll be warmest in the morning. That's right, 46 degrees out the door. There'll be rain showers around. By lunchtime, we're down a degree to 45. By three o'clock, we've dropped to 43, and by the time we get to the evening commute, we're 39 degrees. I think there's not much chance of snow tomorrow evening because we'll mainly be dry and I'll show you that on the rain and snow forecast in just a minute. But it is interesting that our temperatures are going to be warmest first thing out the door. In fact, we're about to hit our high temperature for the day as we roll around to midnight It's 52 right now in Portland. I bet you we're still 50 in the next hour and that will be our warmest time of day and the temperatures drop. Speaking of things dropping, the winds are decreasing across most places today. We had gusts in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range in the valley. Most places the peak gusts now are 20 to 25 miles an hour and that's because the heavy rain the storm front is all dropping to the south and this area continues to move on out but I, I had to highlight some of the rain totals before I get to the cold we look at this boring almost three inches of rain today Oregon City over two and a half Gresham and West Lynn over two inches over an inch in Wilsonville Camas and Clackamas and then the dry places like Beaverton for example you were one of the dry spots around town today you had 5900 so I don't know how I can call on you dry but you know what I'm saying it's all relative now tonight very interesting in the northwest we've got mild air here over most of all, actually all of Oregon right now and then we have cooler air spreading in here you can tell things are showery and you're seeing the snow light up over the Cascades where it's still raining over most of the Oregon Cascades so the first batch of cooler air is starting to come in but we're really waiting on this there's some cold air that's getting wrapped right off the continent here and coming our direction back at us and going to bring us some very cold temperatures. In fact, the coldest temperatures that we have seen this entire year. The question always is, does the cold get here in time to squeeze out some snow? And I think the answer is going to be no this time around. Here's tonight at 11 o'clock on our rain and cloud forecast. Lots of moisture, right? By the time we get going in the morning commute, it's snowing like crazy over the Cascades. Even the coast range passes may already be picking up snow. In the valley, though, it's too warm. Still rain showers. This is tomorrow afternoon. Maybe some of the higher hilltops could see scattered snow showers, maybe the top of Mount Scott or the top of the West Hills, but it's, it's very hit and miss. Most of the action is going to be over the Cascades and the Coast Range. And then tomorrow night, it will be cold enough for snow to fall just about everywhere. This is the evening commute, but you look what's going on. The valley is drying out and probably staying dry basically for the rest of the week. So here's how I break things down. Uh, the big changes ahead for the Portland, Vancouver area and the valley. It's cold enough for snow Monday night, but most of us are likely going to be dry. We can hope for at least some flurries or something like that, but I don't think so. Tuesday morning drive. This is the one to watch this week. Possible slick roads from the wet roads that we have tomorrow evening and then also areas of freezing fog and then staying cold the rest of the week. So let's look at the seven day forecast. This is really interesting. 50 for a high tomorrow, but that's while we're sleeping basically. 39 on Tuesday, 36 for a high temperature I'm talking about on Wednesday and bitter east wind also kicking. So the wind chill at times will be in the teens this week and we're gonna have a lot of sunshine, but boy, you're gonna need your earmuffs, your beanie, whatever your Northwest uh, favorite thing is. You're gonna need some cold weather accessories. Gonna keep it warm this week. <laughs> exactly. Right. Thanks very much.